What you are about to see are the ruins of a 2,000-year-old stone pyramid. Built by the Adena Indians, it is the only ancient stone pyramid in North America. It was destroyed in 1823, so that the stones could be used to build the dam at Buckeye Lake. It has been recorded that it took up to 25,000 wagon loads to remove the majority of these stones. This site has not been placed on the historical site list in Ohio. There are no historical markers and it is virtually inaccessible. It took a great deal of research to locate the general location of this site. I believe the research would be the hardest part of this adventure, but I was wrong. My brother and I headed out to the general location to find the exact site only to discover how treacherous a journey this would be. My brother lost his balance in a tangle of rambles and fell off a cliff face rolling nearly 650 feet down coming to a stop near the I-70 interstate. Only after ascertaining that he was uninjured, with exception of a few cuts and scrapes, I went on alone while he made his way back to our base camp. I proceeded with the climb, slowly making my way through brambles, vines, loose soil, and stone. And there it was, the ruins of the once majestic stone pyramid standing silently in the middle of an overgrown forest. I have discussed with my family the issue of revealing the location of this pyramid to all of you. My wife Angela is part Cherokee and is particularly keen on preserving what little is left of the Native American culture. And our daughter Darby feels the same. Therefore, in an effort to preserve the site's integrity and to save you from an arduous and treacherous ascent, I will not reveal its location except to say that you can find it with good research. But it is dangerous. If you decide to pursue locating it, please use great caution. To preserve the site's integrity, I have edited out the parts of these videos that can give valuable clues to its exact location. I hope you will enjoy what follows, and if you have any questions about the site other than its location, please send me a comment and I will do my best to answer it for you. And I present to you the remnants of the Adena Indian Tribe Stone Pyramid. It was torn down in 1823. All the stones were taken away. They found burial sites underneath that dated the wood from the burial site dated back to 130 AD. I've had to go through a whole lot of woods to get here, but we found it and I'm bringing it to you so all of you can see what was once here. Now I'm going to make my way up here slowly. It doesn't look like there's a lot on the ground, but there is. Lot to trip on. My brother tried to make the climb up here with me and fell and got a little hurt, so he's made his way back to base camp. So it's just me here right now. We're gonna try to summit what's left here. I see some old stones. Right there, we'll get a better look at it here shortly. We're going to try to make our way up through here. Such a shame. It tore all this down to build a dam. It was made with all natural rocks. Let me show you what the ground here looks like. I see somebody's built one of these, I don't even know what they're called. If you know what they're called, please leave a comment for me. Oh my. Let's see if I can get a little closer here. The ground is really soft. So quite a bit of original stone stone work here. Now I don't know what these are for, so if anybody knows, please leave me a comment. It's amazing to be here on the site of the only stone pyramid in North America. The closest one to it is in Mexico. 
so this pyramid stood up to 50 feet high and 185 degree or 185 feet in diameter and underneath the ground which you can see down here in the, the pit I don't know if I can make my way over here but the, they found the burial sites of some Native Americans and the wood that they were buried with dated to 180 AD so they know it was the Adena Indian tribe it's really something special to be standing here folks This, the only pyramid, stone pyramid in North America. This is from another side, showing the pit that was excavated. It was in this pit that they found a few bodies of the Adena tribe members. I'm guessing probably chiefs or warriors, but I'm not sure on that. I can't get much further through the underbrush. This spanned 185 feet in diameter. And as I said earlier, it took up to 25,000 wagon loads to remove all the stone that was here. Now, I think when people think of stone pyramids, they think of Egypt. And how they cut the stone. These were not cut stone. They were local stones that they just used to build it up. But I can't imagine the manpower it would take to build a pyramid like that. Local stones that stood 50 feet high and 185 feet in diameter. And to climb up the ridge. Now, I'm sure you hear the traffic. Coming through there, there's a large cliff that goes down, and that is I-70 on the other side. Well, we're going to go ahead and try to head out of here, find my way back. I hope that you enjoyed this and learned a little something from it, and I'll see you again on the next video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more historical adventures.